大家好，我哋今日咧喺 University of Sussex 咧，又请咗同事 Monica 啦，同我哋做个访问嘅。So welcome Monica for the interview. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for visiting us, Daniel. Yeah, thank you very much. So,、uh, I would like to have some questions to know more about the university. So,、um, can you give me a brief picture of the University of Sussex? Yes, absolutely. So, we're not a massive university. We have about eighteen thousand students, and about thirty percent of our students are from outside the United Kingdom.、Mm-hmm. And our international students come from about one hundred and forty-five countries in the world. Wow! So you can imagine there's、the、lots of、world. languages. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> We actually won a prize in 2021 for being the most diverse university in the UK. So yeah, lots of international students. So、um, Monica, can you tell me the core value and the culture of the, of the university? So、uh, among our core values are kindness, collaboration, inclusion. As you can imagine, with a campus with such a diverse population,、right. students as well as staff. We really try to be very inclusive, and I will come back to kindness. That's one of the very hot topics also in on, in research at the moment. So we'll talk a bit more about kindness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then,、um, and also about、um, the university, I, I see the, the wording that、um, have happens quite frequently. That it that is the interdisciplinary. Can you tell me more about this approach? What's that on in a university? Yes. So I think that we are all used to hearing that somebody studies chemistry,、mm-hmm. or somebody studies politics, or somebody studies medicine. But probably many people realized during the COVID pandemic that actually to understand what is happening,、mm. you need all these people to work together. So you need、right. the medical staff to work with sociologists、yeah. because you can tell people go get a vaccine,、yeah. and they will go. Oh, do I trust this? Don't I trust this? I'll check <laughs> on social media. I don't want to go. So you really need people to work together to achieve the best results. And then sometimes it's also artistic collaboration. So、mm-hmm. I have colleagues in music who work with our colleagues in in computing, and they did this thing called robot opera,、uh-huh. where they had little robots. <laughs> Encoded using O's and ones、uh-huh. to sing opera, so it can open up new ways of seeing, new ways of understanding, and also, you know, very practically,、right. possibilities for new jobs,、yeah. new discoveries. Yeah, and and that's the trend of the new world. I'm, absolutely. I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So that must be helping the students a lot. So,、um, and also,、um, the university have a long tradition of engaging the、um, business and the community. So, how does it work?、Uh, yeah. yeah. That's a great question. So we have a formal place where a lot of this happens. It's like an incubator. It's called、yep. Sussex Innovation Centre,、mm-hmm. and we have businesses there since its inception. We had about 160 businesses based there. They made about 250 million pounds in that、mm-hmm. time. But what is really important is that you get that connection when the students can work together with these businesses. We do encourage students to come up with ideas. We have all of these different ways. Of course, for some areas, it's easier than for others.、Mm-hmm. So you know, if you are an artist, if you are a musician, you're probably not thinking about business. But if you're somebody who studies business and marketing,、mm-hmm. probably you're thinking a、yep. lot about what to do. But we have for everyone. We have an excellent careers and employability centre. Which gives advice to everybody. They run events. We run careers fairs, and I think what is brilliant is that you, even once you graduate from Sussex, you still have all these services for another three years. So you can come back、mm-hmm. and you can use our database.、Good. What is also great is that we are based in a place which is designated as one of these digital hubs、mm-hmm. in the UK's policy. So they really encourage the development, all sorts of digital businesses. And it's really great because that means that our students can go and do work experience with these businesses. We have a lot of influencers in, in, this, <laughs> part, in this part of the country, so it's really good for our students. But it's also more, if you like, traditional quote unquote, more traditional production companies that are then working with businesses in London, even big corporations like the BBC.、Mm-hmm. And of course, we are only an hour away from London,、mm-hmm, yeah. which still is a massive hub. For all of this work, not just media, but much, much, much else. Right. So that's for the connection and the prospects、Absolutely. for the students. So it's that excellent. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So I, I think that makes sense that the university quite rank quite high in in the university league in, in the UK or in in the、yes. world. So、um, can you tell me something about what's outstanding in the University of Sussex? Yes. 
So in terms of rankings, if we talk globally, we are number one in development studies, and this is for the seventh year you're running. So that's really, really a big thing to achieve. But what we also do is we connect, again, this interdisciplinarity that you right. talked about earlier on, we connect development with other subject areas. Mm -hmm. So we actually have five schools that mm -hmm. teach development, including things like media practice for development and social change, uh -huh. because we know that everyone is on the media. So if you want to change their behavior, if you want to change their thinking, it's Social good to media. know exactly how to right. do it. So we do lots of things around development. It's not just development studies as such. We are ranked in the top 25 globally in business mm -hmm. and economics. And again, when you say business economics, people probably think about marketing and I completely Traditional get things, that. Yeah. But then we also very important in policy mm -hmm. because you really want to influence how governments invest uh -huh. their money, what they do. That's another level of, yeah. Yes. So that's probably more for students who want to go on to master's level or to PhD, but that's really important as well, right. yes. And then we also have things that are completely off beast. So for example, our students in engineering every year, they build full Formula One racing car. Really? Yes, absolutely. And then they run the car at Silverstone, not as part of the, uh -huh. you know, the big one, like <laughs> men, we're not like McLaren, but we got our students who build it and yeah, every year. Yeah, bring me to see later on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 definitely, yeah. Yes, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, yes. and, and do you have any new initiatives in the, in the university that, yeah, you'd yes. like to share? Yes, so when I mentioned kindness, this is really important now and you know post pandemic people are thinking more about this and of course our parents brought us up to be kind to others mm -hmm. but we now have a lot of psychological research and at sussex we have this research center mm -hmm. in kindness because it proves that our parents were right when you're kind to others it's very good for you uh, sure definitely yeah. yeah you know doing kind things for others actually uh -huh. make you feel psychologically better yeah. yes <laughs> yes and if i can brag about the university a little bit more if you can bear with me sure, we yeah. also have five nobel prize winners ah I, i've done research about that ah, yeah and it's interesting because some of it is very sciencey uh -huh. so we have harry crotto who was a chemist and then we have uh, uh, another one a physicist Leggett, who, who got got a nobel prize but we also have others who are quite famous. Mm -hmm. Ian McEwan, a very famous novelist. Uh, we have uh, one of our former students uh, who is now a CNN correspondent. Uh -huh. So we get all of these interesting people, but we also get very interesting members of staff, mm -hmm. current staff, who are not into Nobel Prizes or science. Right in this building, we have a person called Jeremy Sheldon, and he has an Oscar-nominated script really? for a film called First Reformed with Ethan Hawke, in the main role so we really do cover a lot at this university wow. yeah. and we you know people get a lot of acknowledgement for all their great work as well yeah yeah, yeah that sounds very nice so um about talking about international students um mm -hmm. there's 30 percent of students from all over the world so how do you support their life when they, when they come here and the studies etc career etc yes so international students are really, really, really important for us. And they are not only important because, you know, uh, they are here to, to, to kind of share their experience with others. They're very important also because it's, it's really, we try to be an inclusive community. And we try to be welcoming. And of course we want them to be successful. And they are important because then they go out of the world and they spread a good word about sure, our university yeah. and they enrich the lives of the English students. But of course, if you are an international student, then you haven't had necessarily had the experience of studying in the British environment, in this educational system. Then, of course, mostly you need a visa to come and live here. You need accommodation. You need to understand how things work, how you get medical help, how you set up a bank account. So we prepared for all of those kind of practicalities. You know, we provide a lot of help with that. Visa, immigration advice, accommodation, setting up bank accounts. But also, you might be an international student with a disability. Mm -hmm. So we do have a unit at the university that can help with that, the student support unit. We also have the Student Life Center where you can learn about things like money, what do I do if I am in some kind of, you know, I have some kind of a problem. I might be short of money or something is happening back home. I'm a bit worried. We have a system of, of 
very, 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 really very strong support for well-being. So you actually have a designated person from day one you can go to and talk to them. Mm -hmm. And we also have excellent support for study skills. Because mm -hmm. as I mentioned, you know, you might be coming from a different kind right. of cultural background, educational background. So we have a program that we run called English Language for Academic Study. Mm. But then apart from that, we also have a lot of study skills opportunities and we have a kind of mentoring scheme for students as well. We have this scheme, which I really love it. It's done by our student union. It's called the buddy scheme. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know, it doesn't sound as scary as having a mentor. You just have a buddy. You can sit down, have a cup of tea and chat about things. And it's really, really super important to stress that we have about 120 student societies. And we have student societies that are linked to a particular geographical area, but we also have student societies, frankly, that are just about whatever the students are interested oh, in. From Harry Potter... 120. <laughs> I know, I know. You can choose anything. <laughs> Harry Potter, debating society, film appreciation society. We have student-run media on campus. Uh -huh. We have a newspaper, a printed newspaper. Yes, of course, it has a version online, but it's kind of <laughs> nice to have a printed version. Yeah. We have a radio station uh -huh. run by our students and we have also a television channel mm -hmm. run by our students. So you can have a great life on campus and, you know, make friends, join societies. And in year one, if you're coming to study undergraduate degree, mm -hmm. we guarantee accommodation on campus. Oh, good. Many students find that very reassuring because they are on campus in year one, they make those connections, make those friends, yeah. and then in year two, because of course, you know, you they are ready away. to fly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're ready to fly, they go off and they, they just find accommodation in Brighton. And that's really good as well because we are very, we are a very nice campus, you will see you know, later on. We are surrounded by a national park, mm -hmm. it all feels very safe, we have an excellent security team. Because, as you can see, we don't have any walls anywhere. We don't have any gates, anything like uh -huh. that. This is okay. very I open. Will, I will it is yeah. very open, yeah. very green. So what happens is if you're coming back late at night from somewhere, you can call our security team uh -huh. and they will come and pick you up from the train. Right. Our students are fantastic because they go out clubbing and enjoying themselves in Brighton. Uh -huh. But they have this night owl scheme where they meet and they come back to the campus together. So it's really, really fantastic to have this openness and at the same time to yeah. have all of this safety as well. Lovely. So, so, it's really good. so what about after um, when they have graduated? So um, do you have any support, especially to the international student? How they will work here or live here, etc.? Yeah. Yes. So what we have is, is, as I mentioned, we do give careers advice and support that goes beyond the time that you studied. Mm -hmm. We also have dedicated events and support for international students. So of course we have, depending on where you're coming from, the British government has this visa policy which allows you to stay and work after completing your, your studies. Mm -hmm. But of course I would advise everyone to check exactly what applies to mm -hmm. their country, where they're coming yeah, from. Definitely. So some people want to stay and they want to try out the work environment here and that's perfectly fine. You know, some want to go back home because they want to use you know, you that the experience, the knowledge, and yeah. yeah, they use that knowledge. So what we also have is a scheme called Sussex Connect, mm -hmm. where we have mentors who are in these different countries. Mm -hmm. So you go back home, we can find you somebody who has already said, oh, I really like Sussex mm -hmm. and I want to help someone from Sussex mm -hmm. to succeed. So we will, you can connect with someone who is based in that country and you can get some advice. Right, brilliant. So they got support. And yes. Yeah, feel yes, comfortable. Yes, so yes. And my last question, do you have any recommendation or advice to the international, international students who are considering if they're coming to study in the UK or in the University of Sussex? Yes. So I think that if you are coming to study at Sussex, I always say that all of these students are making, it's a huge investment. It's an investment, not just financially, but emotionally, mm. psychologically. So I think that what, what you can do, because we have all the social media, you can start you know, making little inroads into, it doesn't have to be that you contact someone, but you can find out so much now. You can watch all these YouTube videos right. that others have made. You can find out what life looks like. So you can do a lot of research. I think also just be prepared that it will be different. Be prepared right, yeah, to yeah. be surprised. That's <laughs> That's be prepared to be surprised. 
And then what I always, always say is, just ask questions. Mm. This place is really nice. We're very supportive. We're very approachable. No question is a silly question. And if you have questions before you arrive, just look at the website. Find someone you'll be studying in a school. It's very easy to find an email, someone's email, and drop us an email. Every school has a wonderful school office. You can write to people there and you can just say, look, I'm coming in September. Is there someone that I can just ask a few questions? Because sometimes it's, you just want to know that someone is there. Oh, yeah. And don't be afraid to it's ask. Comfort you. Yeah. Yes, it's, you're coming from a very different culture. You know, you might think, oh, I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to ask questions. It's too much. But that's part of our job. That's why we are here. And we really want to make everyone welcome. Great. So do ask questions. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. And, thank you and very it's very much. welcoming in here. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm yeah. glad you picked up on that. Thank you very much. Yeah.